making sure everything is working the way it's supposed to, so just give me a moment. So welcome back everyone, this is Digital Dragon, back to you with another part of my uh, Pokemon Scarlet video. Uh, I did do some grinding on this, on this. I have evolved a Pokemon. And got a few other ones that were in the area from before here. I just went around and I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Because at the end of this, I want to get a complete living dex of all of the entire, of all the Pokemon. So I will be doing that. Hey, oh, hey, dragons over here. This here is a Pokemon Center. It's all outside. You can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon. But I'll leave the explanation to the pros here. Happy to be of service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is a Pokemon Mart, is a Pokemart counter. You can buy things like Pokemon, Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payment both cash and in League Points. That is, one, uh, one League Point is worth one, do one Poke Dollar. Makes sense. And to my right is the technical machine, or TM, or the technical machine, machine, or TM machine for short. It's your ticket to buy, to making TMs 
which you can use to teach your, po your to teach move to your Pokemon. You need to pay in League Points to su and supply the machine with materials and po that Pokemon drop. League Point comes in handy in both these machines and at stores. I've got a lot. Here, have some. Oh yeah, here's some of these too. Pokemon materials for Nimona. And at the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself uh, some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will, thanks. Remember, had a rough adventure? Go to the po get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know the sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But my memories help out. Here's another one. R. You ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember that you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around. Or go battle on its own, or other stuff like that. So I got more Poke... some... ooh, Poke particle good. Uh, Coco later. Crocolore is the evolved form of Fue Coco. Of course, you see Lechong, Torun, Taruntula, Palmy. Uh, this is actually the Whooper is actually a regional variant. Oh, the Terra type is ground. So fire, normal, bug. Electric, ground, then Fido. <laughs> or some Pokemon that I have. In my boxes, I have another Wooper. Because I'm making a living Pokedex, so I'm trying to collect the every of every uh, form. Another Palmy. Uh, this is Flamingo. It's a Flamingo Pokemon. It's an only Pokemon. There's another Wiglet. Or there's a Wiglet. And then two more Fidos because Fido has two evolutions. Let's see. Uh, okay. Nice fang. Ooh, that'd be a good one. Oh, I have 10 rank you for low kick. Uh, struggle bug, side beam. So I need to get, I need to beat a couple of side ducks to get side beam. Disarming voice is another, ooh. Is it a fairy type move? Then endure. Helping hand, rest, swift, air cutter is another good move. Fuse raid, low kick, struggle bug, side beam. Hmm. It's good for battling against both electric types and fire types. Yeah, I'll do four. I'll teach you to all my Pokemon that can. I'm gonna get the mystery gift Pokemon. Cause there is a mystery gift Pokemon.
Flying Terra type Pikachu. I do have codes to get the Pokeballs. So I got the dual pack. Please tackle. Swift is a good move for Ralts Dust. interesting okay spoke with all balls revives Sweet. Just cause. <laughs> yes, this one has a sombrero. Horns on its head provides strong a strong power that then enables it to sense people's emotions.
More Fido's. better. Oh. Wild Toxel. Oh. I didn't even know I hit that one. Pokemon I haven't really used before because well I'll be catching some different Pokemon that I've never used before Gen 6 Pokemon Any poison that this Pokemon takes in is converted into black powder and secreted. That's why scatterbugs eat poisonous leaves and roots. Like, and I thought Legends Arceus looked beautiful. I'm mostly trying to see if there's any more new Pokemon. Pokemon. 
Oh, I know that Pokemon. <laughs> this is the pre evolved form of one that was released beforehand. Shrewdle. Though usually mellow, a mellow Pokemon, it sinks its sharp poison soaked front teeth into any that anger it, causing paralysis in the object of its ire. This is just Sunkern. Never seen one from behind before. but I just want to walk under around a little bit. Need one more. Because this thing has. Ooh, critical capture. This thing has two evolutions. Oh, 
I ran into that. Pupa. Basically, I want one more Pokemon to evolve. again.
Yeah, that's the new Tauros. So cool. Normal fairy. It's always good to battle, but more Pokemon in a battle, better. Wait, what level does the chunk of all that? Level 18. My spider one will evolve first. Level 10. Needs five more levels. You know what? I'm going to continue going to the school. Trainers give out more each, more XP EXP than Rod Pokemon. Rookity.
There we go. We're at the school. Don't get me wrong, I like some of the futuristic Pokemon that they have in Pokemon Violet, but I absolutely adore the the other uh, the ones from Scarlet Moor. Well, some trainers on the hill. Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you? How about you show me all you have learned in a battle? Sure thing. Gato. <clears throat> Cockalor. Coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Pummy's pure electric type. Oh. So pure electric type. Crystallizing. That's what that is. That's the gimmick of this of this generation. Man, I can't believe how fast you've improved. You've improved. I called grinding. <laughs> I did a lot of it. Amazing! Look at you taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get that. I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles. I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyways, it's fun to battle you. Here, have uh, some revives of Zang. Now, Meza goes... Meza... Meza goes, uh, is waiting 
Just past the gate, at last, the city where our school is. <laughs> the school's a whole city. That's saying something. There are tons of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a breather better that breather and then catch up with you soon. That's a school. <laughs> Don't think I've ever been to a school this big. Or even a quarter of this size. Alright, here I am. We finally made it, huh? It, this is Mezagoza, the biggest city in Palladia. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances of, in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look plus places tasty foods and fixings. What do you want to see first, dragons? Tasty food. <laughs> but that's smart. Can't battle well with a de growing growling tummy now. Oh, speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to trustalize your Pokemon too, dragons. There are a few things you gotta get done for that to happen. But I'll take care of them. Remember, meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the big city a bit. With so much to do, grab a bite, buy some accessories, and to spice up your uniform. If you want to personalize personal recommendation, you gotta see the Deli Bird presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Once you've seen your fill, we meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready, the stairs up to the school are no joke. <laughs> Later then, get pumped for some trastalizing. This way. See so what's around this way. Some neat things. Spatrices. What is this? Ooh. Potato tortellina, fruit punch, Palladia de Pal. Paldea, or Paella de Paldea, es Escavilda, and Clof al Ajulo. Okay. I think that's basically kind of like Escargot, but with Escavalier. Uh, that's Clof. So. They do eat Pokemon. I mean, when all your animals are Pokemon, what else are you to eat? Phone cases. Ooh. Spinagato, Foy Coco, Quaxley, Yellow Phone Case, Green Phone Case, Purple, Pink, Blue, Turqu Turquoise, Olive, Rose, Browse, and Lavender. I kind of. Hmm. 
Let's go poke balls. Oh, they have a heal ball as well. Okay. Spell Everstone Power. That's good. Miracle Seed, Charcoal, Mistwater, Skull Stars, Sharp Beaks, or. Ooh. Okay, that's new. Ability Shields. Basically, shields your Pokemon's ability from changing through other abilities. Uh, like Mummy. Like Mummify. Too bad Pokemon aren't real. There's some really adorable Pokemon. Don't you get it? If you join Teen Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends with us? Not really. Look, we got a code we're supposed to fill for new members that just signed up already. I'd rather not. Huh, you want on this too? If you, you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star Kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? No. <laughs> ah, another ignorant, ignorant little nobody. I mean, here I am, finally part of Team Star, and else, and I, and still I get the respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor, blah blah blah, just t just grunt stuff. <laughs> Shrewdle. Oh, right, because it's poison.
Yeah, well, the helmet. I'm stopping bad guys, blah, blah, blah. Trash the ball. Terrible. Orb. You want this kid to practice well? Uh, wailing on us with his hair poke one? Is that it? You got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Yeah, never mind, I'll take my chances with the new kid. <laughs> Young goose. Cochlear. There goes Youngus. No dragons, you pulled out some... You pulled out Terrestrializing, no problem. Moves with your Pokemon. Terra type will hit even harder when it's Terrestrialized, you know. Sometimes you'll find Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta change your Terra Orb at the Pokemon's, or gotta charge your po Terra Orb at the Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. Okay, so that makes things so much more more sense. Where unlike the Dynamax thing, where you can do it any, where you can only do it on. Like, unlike, sorry, unlike Mega Evolution, where you can do it once per battle, it doesn't matter. Dynamaxing, at least, you ha you can only do Dynamaxing in a Dynamax field. If it's not a Dynamax field, you can't do Dynamaxing, so that's fine. And then, Terrestrializing, you can only do it once every time you heal. So you can only, you have to go to a Pokemon Center to heal your Pokemon. To, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I'm going to stop reading the text. What I'm going to do is I'm only going to terrestrialize Pokemon when they're when I'm going against a terrestrialized Pokemon.
professor. Good morning, Mr. Jacques. You think it'd be Professor Jacques because he's the Pokemon professor of this re- Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> um, well, I do want to... Yeah, that's my main goal. Right now is completed the Pokedex. you ragamuffins. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm gonna have to battle. I was so tempted to say, like, I don't think we've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, so he's not as bad as I thought at the beginning. A Titan Pokemon. I want to see what the Titan Pokemon are. Okay, so... Oh, 
Okay. So I'll be catching the Terra Pokemon. Tens are well, I think they're gotta be things like this. Oh! Yep. I want to see something. I thought it was like a pre evolved for. Oh! I understand what it is now. Because each game has, like, there's Paradox Pokemon. Pokemon from the past or the future. This is Pokemon from the past. So they might come out with a game that's based off the Pokemon from the past. More Pokemon from the past. Like Legends Arceus had with the Hisui Pokemon. So there's the Stony Cliff, there's the open sky. There's the Lurking Steel. The one that you saw the picture was is the um, Quaking Earth. And then the last one is the False Dragon Titan. Ooh. I'm going to be getting all five of them. Path of Legends. I think I'm going to battle one of them today rock tight ooh take this thank you for listening to her back and start this Just more so because I can talk to you. Hope you don't mind. My name is Cassio Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear her trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, it's something I'd like to ask you. Tell me, Dragons. You know about Team Start, right? Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. Honestly, that's an amazing name. I love that. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Ah, Master Dragons. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there's so many things we need to be careful about these in this day and age. On you go, then, young man. Honestly, like, when, right now, with Sword and Shield putting the big boss man, uh, President Rose, as the big evil guy, 
I wouldn't put him past them to make Mr. Clavel the evil man here. I honestly wouldn't. Team Star, you say? Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't put it past Poke Game Freak. So I gotta talk to her. Then I'm going to be done for today, do some grinding, and then tomorrow I go after the first Titan. Very well, Champion Namora. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Okay. Glad to hear it. Good day then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, dragons, hey. Picture engine, that lady. Well, we call her La Prima uh, Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practice coming out. Cool. She's got cool practice glee coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be. Or that any Pokemon trainer want, would want to be, really. Which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked you what I asked what your dream is? Now I know you want to be all about completing the Pokedex, but hear me out. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Wow, hang, hang on though. I got a whole spiel I want to give you here. Do the gyms in any order. Yeah, I was just about to say she's probably going to save the where the gyms locations in my map app so I can disguise. I'm gonna go the uh, I'd go the bug gym first. Let's see, which is Victory Road. Okay, that happened. Thank you for coming, Master Dragons. 
have you been enjoying your time here at the Naranja Academy? That's most wonderful to hear. Now you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed early in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there's a reason why I asked you to meet me in my, here in my office. Since that a friend of mine has rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh, ah, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in the room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Ah, the professor. Hello, dragons. Nice to meet you. My name is Pres Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Palladia. At site at a site known as Area Zero. The professor is in fact a graduate of our fine academy as well as splendid as a re splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. You're a student who travels with the you know, unusual Pokemon Koridon, is that correct? Thank you, I appreciate you, you were honest in confirming the facts. Uh, not that I uh, don't mean to offend you, in fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. <laughs> Crichton. Oh, how good to see you well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Right, as once was once in my care, you see. Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Averin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I ask of you. Will you continue to look after Crichton on my behalf? Of course. I do appreciate your agreement. I just like that you're just given legendary. Crichton has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battling. Can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time for fully uh, to fully regain his capa capa the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with the con with my contact information if you will please get out your phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. Does this Pokemon have origins within Area Zero? So don't tell me you actually did it. Well, it seems you have a professor. You uh, sees that the professor has taken quite the favor to you. Of you, sorry. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way you are able. We are able. I do hope that you'll continue to enjoy our school life together with that Koridon. A Koridon. I'm gonna, once I'm out in the wild area again. Oh, you're still here. It's getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Not kidding. I know you. it wasn't like that. Oh, private rooms. <laughs> Wow, that's actually not bad for dorms. This is really good to get your own kitchen.
Then the last day. Okay. So you're not here for long. Uh, new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain it in more detail. It's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on. Let's go out to the schoolyard. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time to that explains your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set up to the world to search for your own treasure. So much with you've learned all uh, all the, the Now it's time to turn your eyes upon the world and wider world deepen your understanding. Poor Palladia's abundant nature soak in its rich culture. Discover Pokemon that live there. And get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Where, who will you meet? And what will you accomplish? Of course your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn the new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcome you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as a fine young as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward. They don't give a time frame. And I know if this happened in our world. Come on, Salazar, we're running out. Take care, everyone, and remember the great crater of Palladia is exceedingly drained, dangerous. Entering, entering it is a violation of the school rules. What are you waiting for, dragons? Let's go. I wonder how we're going to... I wonder how we're going to ride... Maraiden. Dragon, dragon. The treasure hunt is finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? Yeah, fair questions. This is your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. Um, the point isn't to get all us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. More just making our own adventures to see what experience Palladia has to got to offer. Okay. You could try to beat the gyms. You could help out people in need. You could hunt for... Real capital T treasure, if you wanted, even. It's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom. It, this is our chance to learn it. Okay. Plus, there's many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. And you and me for sure got to battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Uh, 
Oh yeah, battle, battling can wait. I mean, to tell you, do you know your phone's map lets you set yourself destinations? You can try setting one for the gyms as a as your destination. That'd get you on your way easy. <laughs> How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we were cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's up to Dragons where whether he goes. Dragon's gotta have some, his hands full searching Titanfall. I'm doing both. <laughs> Guess he'll be here. Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one has got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunt might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry with your skills. I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just add, go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone for you. So the fairy crew, the dark crew, the fire crew, the poison crew, and the fighting crew. Crew. Wait. Does that cover all the types? So there's bug type. Grass type. Electric type. Water type. Normal type. Ghost type. Psychic type, and ice type. Then there's fairy crew, the dark crew, fighting crew, poison crew, fire crew. Flying, steel, oh. ground, technically, and water. Yeah, that's all the types. Wow. <laughs> they used all the types in this one. That's so cool. I like that. Starfall Street. Good luck with the, those bosses. I'll hook up. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait a second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are serious hazard. They're not dragons problems. That's right because I'm doing all three. I thought it was I, it was up to dragons to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona and Avrin? How do you know my? I'm looking forward to see what you can pull off, dragons. Bye. What was that all about? Dragons, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyways, no more weird vibes. We've got big adventures to start. I'm gonna battle every single tra Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep battling to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. I guess I'll start by heading to the gyms and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what gym buildings look like. Okay. They're more like skyscrapers. Tall buildings. Oh, and I know you're running. Uh, we've been running our, our mouth busts. Your call what to do, dragons. So go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. And a treasure of your very own. For me, that's gonna be my. Er, 
Her big dream is of course tracking down the Herba Mysterica. That's it. Once we get those herbs, we'll make I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've ever had in your life. <laughs> oh my god, did she just say come out because you said because you said sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not getting one. Press the plot plus button to jump on Koraiden and you'll find you get around more quickly. When you're on Koraiden's back, you can press B button to jump, allow it to leap over obstacles. Press plus plus again to get off Koraiden to walk. So cool. Oh, the tail turns into a tire, into the rear, into the rear wheel. Whoa, transparent! It really looks like it's some kind of weird cyclozar. As long as you've got Koraiden, you can go pretty much anywhere. Palladia is your cloister. Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're gonna go, you're going to search those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out on from the East Gate. But since Dragon is actually going heading to take the gyms, I say go the west for the west gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. <laughs> I'll go ahead to the gym. See you around, Dragon. Okay, so I want this one first. Oh, this is so cool. Right, it's so cool. Raiden is the uh, other one. Raiden is so. I just. Oh, well, strange one, right? this way I am going to try it. I'm going to catch the Titans well this game I'm going to catch all the Titans by the next when I play the other one there's only one Titan I need to catch yes this is new Pokemon Like I said, I'm gonna catch all the Pokemon I can. Not clear. It was born in a layer of rock salt deep under the earth. This species was particularly treasured in the old days as they would share precious salt.
so cool. Thanks. So like I said, I'm not going to go to any of the gyms or anything like that until the next part. So you'll see me, you will see those. I'm just going to do some grinding and some collecting, so you'll see that next part. So thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Of course, hitting the notification bell so you get notified of all upcoming videos. Please share, follow, and, su and uh, subscribe on Twitch. And please become a patron of my channel on patreon.net forward slash digital dragons. Thank you and good night.